Hello and welcome to the Mobile Builder Series. My name is David Ha and I'll be your guide as we build a mobile application together on the Now platform. Today we're going to build a custom push notification. For today's example, we're going to create a push notification for my active instance applet that is triggered any time a new incident is assigned to me. To set up push notifications, both the admin and the users need to do some configuration. Admins must first register a device for push, create a push note message, and then a push notification studio. Next, users need to update their preferences to allow push notifications from the agent app. Let's begin by registering our device on the instance so that our app can receive push notifications. To get started, we need to register your device for push notifications. On Studio in the navigation panel, we'll go ahead and search for syspushnotifappinstall.list. Then we'll go ahead and click Create New. For the user, if you want to specify specific users to receive push, you can set the users here. But for this example, we're going to leave it blank so that all users logged in the same instance will receive them. For the push application, we'll go ahead and search for ServiceNow mobile application. And then for the push platform, we have options for Apple and Google. In this example, we're only going to register for just Apple. But if you wanted to register for Google too, you'll just have to register twice. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click Submit. Next, let's create the message content for our push notification. Back on our application navigator, we'll go ahead and search for push message content. We'll click create new. Let's name this push message incident inside of me. For the push app, we'll look for ServiceNow Mobile. For the push message generation field, we're going to enter a JSON payload with the content that we want to appear in the push notification. And we can go ahead and grab the JSON template from the product documentation for Studio. Go ahead and copy this. Then we'll go back to Studio and then we'll paste it here. In this JSON, there's a placeholder for document ID, which contains the unique identifier, or in other words, the sys ID of your applet's master detail screen that we want to create notifications for. And when I do a quick control find, this is where the placeholder is. So now, going back to our navigation panel in our instance, I'll go ahead and show you where you can grab this. Go ahead and search for a mobile application. We'll select the mobile builder. We'll click into our folder, but in this case we didn't create any, so we'll select empty. And then we'll go ahead and select our applet, which is active instance. And this pops up our master detail screen. If I click into the hamburger icon, I'll have the option to copy the sys ID. So let's go ahead and take this and then paste it in the placeholder for the document ID in the JSON. So we'll go ahead and paste it here. I also want to mention that this JSON in the product documentation only works for the instant table. You will need to modify it if you plan to use any other table. For this example, the only thing we need to change is the placeholder for the document ID. But if I were to remove this section here for the layout, I will then be able to use any other table. And now that we're done, we'll go ahead and submit this. Next, let's create the notification. Back on our application navigator, let's go ahead and search for push notification. Go ahead and click create new. We'll name this instant assigned to me. This will pull from the instant table. For the category, we'll go ahead and select something that's relevant. Let's search for instant alert. Now for the push notification, we have some configuration options for when to send, who will receive, and what to send, starting with when, when to send. What we're going to do first is make sure that inserted, as well as updated, is checked to make sure that the notifications will send whenever a new record is inserted or an existing record is updated. And then our condition for this is going to be assigned to anytime that it changes, as well as assigned to is dynamically me. And then moving on to the who will receive tab, we need to make sure that at least one recipient is specified in one of these three fields. In this case, the person that the assigned to incident is going to be receiving it. 
we'll unlock the user and we'll assign this to system admin. Move it on to what to send tab. We'll create a new push message and link it to the push message content that we created earlier. So let's go ahead and unlock this. We'll search and then go ahead and create a new push notification message. We'll go ahead and name this incident assigned to me. The push app will be service down mobile application. The table will be incident. And then the push message content will be instant assigned to me. I also have the option to add a message if I wanted to, but for this case, I'll leave it blank. And then we'll submit. And then once we're done with all this, we'll go ahead and submit our notification. And now the very last step is to add our notification to the push default registration. Back on our navigation panel, let's look up for push application. We'll open up the ServiceNow mobile application. We'll make sure that our scope's in global. And then we'll go ahead and click the camera bar and then configure related list. We'll then bring over the push default registration to push application and then we'll save. Now on the push default registration tab, let's go ahead and click create new. For the notification, we'll select incident and sign to me, the one that we just created, and then we'll submit. Now we just created our push notification for active instance applet. To verify this, let's open our app in studio. We'll open up mobile builder. And then on our navigation panel, you'll see in the notifications that we have a new one called instance assigned to me. Now, the very last step that we need to take is to test this on our app. Back on our device, the first thing we need to do is log out of our instance. And we're going to re-log back in to register our device to push. We'll log back in as admin. And once we're logged back in, we'll go ahead and open up the notification screen from the bottom. And then we'll make sure that enable notifications toggle is on, which it is. And then we'll go back to the home screen. We'll open up mobile builder, click into active incident. And if you look at this first incident here for broken monitor, we'll see that the assigned to user is currently Don Goodlife. In order to trigger this push notification, uh, we need to reassign this to the system admin. So to do that, we'll go into our instance on our home page, and then we'll look up open incidents. And then we'll go ahead and filter this by short description and look up monitor. And it looks like this instant here is the first record that we found. It's currently assigned to Don Goodlife, which is expected. So let's go ahead and reassign this to system admin. And then to make sure that push was triggered properly, we'll go ahead and check the system logs for push notification. And here we can see that there's a trigger, there's a push notification that's currently pending. So back on our mobile, we'll go ahead and give it a few seconds to load. And in our top banner, there it is. I can click into the notification if I wanted to. And it'll take me directly to the record where I can quickly glance over the details, or I can take a quick action on top right if necessary. Now, if I go back to the home and click into the notification screen, I can also see the notification there as well. And in just minutes, we just built our very first push notification that triggers any time a new incident is assigned to the system admin. This wraps up our quick demo for custom push notifications. Thank you for watching.